Hey guys and welcome to Petroped and welcome to my COVID-19 daily vlog. Uploading a new video every evening at 6 p.m. to keep you sane during lockdown. It is a stunning, stunning day today, but I feel like another episode of Peddler's Rides. And for this one, I thought I would take a look at possible options for your first hot hatch. Now before we get stuck into the cars, we do of course need to have a couple of Peddler's Pups. Actually I'm going to give you four today. So first off we've got two beautiful pups sent in by Adrian Morton. This is Blue and Lily and they are Husky Cross Marmot and I just think they are beautiful, beautiful dogs. And then sent in by Tom Lowe, these two are going to break the cutometer. This is Max and Paddy. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't get much cuter than that, really. <laughs> Where do I go from that? I know, let's go to some cars. So, I've been sent loads and loads of cars in the hot batch category. Some of them highly tuned and beautiful, beautiful things. But it got me thinking, what would be a really good first hot hatch if you were a young driver? I'm not talking about first car. I'll do a separate peddler's rides on those. This is the first hot hatch and I've got two for you. So first off, we're going off to sunny Cornwall to a guy called Brett Barnes. And Brett has very recently picked up a BMW 118, the rear wheel drive one. So hey peddlers and welcome to my five minute review of my BMW 1 series. Now before we get into it I just want to say a massive thank you to Pete for featuring me on his channel. Um, what an awesome opportunity it is for all the community to come together and show each other the cars and I'm super excited to see other people's cars. But yeah, without further ado, let's take a look at the car. So this is my 2015 BMW 1 series 118i F21. Um, obviously it's the facelift with the 1.5 litre turbo petrol. Now this is only 140 brake horsepower but I'm only 19 and it's my second car so insurance here in the UK is obviously quite expensive. But as you can see it's in really nice condition. Um, I, I do look after it quite well. So in terms of wheels I've got the 18 inch alloys. Now these have literally just been resprayed. I took them to like a body shop and they got resprayed. I've also fitted new badges on there because the BMWs are awful and they always corrode. Um, the actual badges corrode. Now I've actually only owned this car for about a month and a half and I've already done loads of um, little mods, like subtle mods, nothing too crazy. So I've de-chromed the badge, I've de-badged that badge completely. Um, I fitted a rear camera in there, um, dash cam, and I've uh, fitted a front one as well. Not really a mod, but it's just for safety. Um, I fitted a black version of the M Sport badges. I've obviously fitted new hubcaps as well. I got some really nice 4D plates on it. And yeah, I do think it just looks really, really nice. I really like this car. I've always wanted one. Um, literally ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted one. So to actually own one is quite a nice and big achievement for me. Nothing too mental. It's not like a dream car or anything like that for some people. But for me, it's, it's a really nice car. Now in terms of the interior, I've always wanted the red and black interior. I've always liked red and in BMWs, I think it looks amazing. Obviously I got the M Sport wheel. Um, I've done another little mod in here. I fitted a new iDrive button there and I've um, also fitted a red stop start button and I've changed this logo so it's all in black. Um, but yeah, inside is really nice condition. As you can see, really clean and nice. Now this is the six speed manual. I would have liked to go on with an automatic um, just for just the ease of driving and just how smooth it would be. But this was like the perfect spec. So at the end of the day, it's still manual. My last car was a manual, so I'm used to it. So it's not that bad. Now the reason why I went for this car, um, this exact one was because I've been looking for so long. It came up in a garage and it has only 30,000 miles on it. 
for a five year old car that's way below average so i was super happy with like the condition of the car that's why i went with it and yeah this is my little baby now while we're here i thought i could run over a few mods i want to do with it and i'm going to start with back here now as you can see there's a currently a single exhaust i want to fit a new rear diffuser with a twin exhaust and just have a little rumble um because at the minute it has no noise at all and it'd be nice to have a little like a little subtle rumble just to add to the driving experience I'm also going to black out these badges, uh, just like I did with the inside ones. I'm gonna black out the hubcaps as well, um, just so it's completely dechromed and just all pure black and white. And I think that'll look so much better. I also plan to paint my brake calipers. I've already got the actual paint, I just need to do it. So I think that'll look at, make it look a lot sportier. I also want to fit like sweeping indicators on there. Um, I'm just waiting for them to arrive in the post. And I think they'll look really cool. Obviously I wanna get the stage one remap on it. Um, another thing I want to do, a little subtle mod, is I want to get metal uh, pedal covers in there. I think that'll look much better. And I also want to get slightly tinted windows because um, I think that'll really set it off and make it look really nice. I also want to wrap the interior. Um, so this, I'm thinking about black carbon. I think it'll look much better because this is really prone to scratching. There's a couple of little scratches um, and I want to get rid of it. So what do you guys think of it? I really like to hear what you guys think in the comment section of Pete's video. Um, and maybe some modifications I can do to it. But yeah, I don't want to make it look too, I don't really want to use the word, but too chavy. Um, and I still want it to look like it could have come out the factory like it. So there we have it. That is my five minute review. I'm hoping I got it near five minutes, but I feel like it's going to be a little bit shorter. But nonetheless, I'd love to hear what you guys think of it in the comment section. That'd be really nice to hear, get a bit of feedback on it. And once again, a massive thank you to Pete for having me featured on the channel. I'm sure in some some point down the line, we'll do some sort of collaboration because he literally, or he has one, one of his houses is about 10 minutes from my house, which is pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, I'd love to hear what you think and uh, thank you for watching. Now then, you will have noticed that that was a very slickly put together video, very good presenting and very good edit. And that's because Brett is just about to hit 29,000 subscribers on YouTube. He's not a car YouTuber per se, um, but check his channel out. I will put a card above right there. So please go over and check uh, Brett's channel out and give him a sub. Um, but yeah, really lovely car. I watched the collection of that car on his channel and he's done quite a lot to it since. And it's all been done very subtly and it looks very OEM, which I like very much. And yes, Brett lives not that far from my house in Mevergissi and several times now when I've been there we've sent each other messages on Instagram and tried to get a time when we both could meet up to talk about maybe doing a collaboration and we've never managed to get that to work yet but I promise Brett that we will sort that out the next time I'm allowed to be down in Cornwall we will meet up and we will do something together I am sure so that I think was a really good option. Used, not ridiculously expensive. You might not call the 118 a hot hatch, but it's certainly a very nice, very stylish car that's gonna teach you a lot about driving and gives you lots of options for modification. The second car in today's Peddler's Rides, we're gonna go over to a young lad called Ben. Uh, and Ben, again, only a few months ago, picked up a brand new Fiesta ST. Hi guys, I'm Ben and welcome to my first ever uh, car walk around, car video, so be kind uh, in the comments. Uh, and you join me here in sunny Hampshire to have a look around this, my uh, Mark 8 Ford Fiesta ST Performance Edition. So I think let's go and start her up and then uh, we'll show you around. You've heard her start up. I think it might have actually broken the microphone. Um, so apologies if the audio wasn't great on that start up. Um, and I'll try to get in some flybys as well if I can, which were obviously filmed uh, pre-lockdown. So I've had this car since uh, January of this year, 2020, um, and I've done just over two and a half thousand miles. It's one of 600 units. Uh, it's a UK only car. Um, so one of 600 in the UK. Uh, tested on the Nürburgring, apparently. Um, it's finished in, um, we'll, we'll talk about the paint in a minute, this is uh, Ford's deep orange paint which uh, might not show up that well on, on my uh, iPhone camera um, but it's the same colour that was used on the previous gen um, Focus RS Heritage Edition um, so it's kind of a flat orange which uh, does really pop in the sunshine um, which isn't on it too much at the moment which is a shame um, uh, but it's not the same as the current um, Focus ST 
orange that's called orange fury i think and that's more of a sort of yellowy orange uh, a bit more metallic um so the car rides on these uh 18 inch 10 spoke uh ford performance lightweight alloys so there's a little logo in there um and i think they save about um seven kilos all round in there in that kind of magnetite finish to match some of the other um kind of gray accents around the car and obviously you've got the signature red uh, st calipers in there also we've got the um the full led headlights um which are i think normally an option um on the standard st3 um so they, they're a, a standard option on this car um in terms of what i've done little bits to the front um we've got four performance plate holder which i think just sets the uh the orange off and the gray on the front quite nicely against that kind of gloss black plate holder um, and also changed that st badge from the standard red which i didn't quite like sat in that grill um to orange with a with a sort of black surround on it if you can see that um i should add as well the car is on ford performance um coilover springs now um apparently if you believe what you read online those were actually made by kw suspension um out in the states which would figure given that ford are an american manufacturer um so they are lowered uh, by 15 mil at the front and 10 mil at the back um, and of course with this car you also get the performance pack which would normally be a sort of 800 pound option um, as standard so that means you get the quaif um, limited slip diff on the front axle um, launch control and also a sort of gimmicky uh, shift indicator when you're up at about 6000 rpm the engine exactly the same as a standard uh, mark 8 st3 so it's running about 200 horsepower from that 1.5 uh sort of turbo engine um along here you'll notice i fitted some rally flaps which were um supplied to me by rally flaps so these are actually the kylan material ones i've got them on the rear as well um so they're actually the not a dissimilar material to what the world rally championship teams use um so they're really really durable um flexible as well which is good for this and as you can see they're filthy so they're doing their job uh which is really really good um just in terms of um the rear end of the car i have also changed that badge to black uh black with a black surround which i think just sets it sets the rear of the car off a bit nicer against this privacy glass which we have across the back um, and on the back windows uh, there's my Instagram for anyone interested. Go follow me or abuse me in my DMs. Um, and these are some of the brands I've sort of worked with on the car, uh, partnered with. So CE UK um, for all your kind of lighting needs, modifications, rally flats. They're obviously on the car. Print, peel and stick um, have supplied me with some goodies to change the look of the car uh, quite a lot. But because of lockdown, I haven't been able to get those on yet. And I think we all know that logo. Uh, Mr. Papworth, Hampshire Photography, Luke um i filmed the collection of this car with him so if anyone's interested in watching that go and check out his channel obviously i'll show you the interior very quickly although as anyone in the know will realize it's the same as a standard st3 so you get your lovely uh, recaro bucket seats um leather trim here there and everywhere some fake carbon fiber up and around the dash all the your infotainment uh b and o sound system um, heated seats, heated wheel, all of that. So it's um, a really well specced interior, really comfy actually, and quite quiet when you're on the road, which is great. But um, thanks for watching this, guys. Um, don't forget to subscribe to Petrol Paired. Follow me on Instagram. There's my uh, username again. Um, and uh, and if you want to film with this car or, or shoot with this car, then then DM me. Let me know. Cheers, guys. Now before we get on to Ben's specific car. I am a big fan of the new Fiesta ST. It drives brilliantly. It's not ridiculously fast, it's a couple of hundred horsepower, but the way it puts that on the road and the driving feel you get, and what I love about it is it comes as standard with a Quaife ATB, and that makes all the difference in terms of just getting the power down on the road and dealing with the communication you feel through the steering wheel. The spec of your car, mate, is absolutely on point for me. I love kind of bright orange colours. It's very in your face, not for everybody I know. But that with the kind of gunmetal grey wheels, absolutely beautiful. Congratulations. Now, uh, Ben, um, now interestingly, um, I think you are going to be doing more and more YouTube around your car. On Instagram, you need to look out for Driving with Ben. 
on Instagram uh, and I'm pretty sure if you look out on YouTube over the coming months you'll see more and more of that car so please go and check out Ben for more stuff about his car. Um, now you might argue that that's quite an, an expensive car for your first hot hatch. As I said this isn't a, a first car for a young driver. Clearly if you were a young driver you'd need to have a few years of driving experience and insurance no claims behind you before you'd even consider getting into a car like a new Fiesta ST and buying new, I mean I know you get you might get some really nice finance options and things but if you look at used ones, a year old, two years old, three years old, all those Fiesta STs they are brilliant, brilliant cars to drive and give you lots of scope for enjoying a car you could, you've got the option to tune or to modify the car in ways, and I think a brilliant option uh, as a first hot hatch and a good stepping stone into something later on down the line, a little bit quicker and a little bit more whiz bang. Um, but yeah, brilliant car. Um, so uh, I hope you enjoyed those two. I really did. Two beautiful cars. Uh, I'm so delighted for you both. You clearly, you know, they're both new to you and you're kind of in that early phase of just loving everything about the car and long may that continue. But guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Peddler's Rides. If you have done so, please give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come and I'll see you on the next film guys, but you take care. Stay safe.